Hello again. So today I'm going to tell you about one of my favourite books. Uh, well, of course, this theme is favourite books. Uh, this was one that um, was a book that I came across after I did my permaculture design course in 1996. And uh, I took it with me. It was only about four books I took with me to uh, the place where I spent a year on the side of a mountain in Ireland. Very, very basic with uh, water from a spring, grew, grew our own vegetables and so on. And this was really where I learned how to put the permaculture I've been learning on the design course into practice. Um, and so this was the biggest book that I took with me and it's called, very catchily, Designing and Maintaining Your Edible Landscape Naturally, <laughs> which I suppose is, is basically what it is it's all about. And this is an American book by a chap called Robert Couric, um, who'd also written a book about lavender, which is very interesting. And um, this is another of those books. For me, this is, as a gardener, somebody who loves to grow food and garden, there's a lot of good technical information in here. Again, you can see it's quite a chunky book. Um, it's not a hardback, which usually for me is a bit problematic when books get to this big. Um, but I've never particularly noticed a problem with this one because um, often if you open a softback book <laughs> of this size at any kind of size uh, at any page often you'll find that pages start flopping back over again it gets very annoying um, but this book doesn't seem to have that problem and uh, it's full of again lots of diagrams you probably tell by now I like pictures um, it has to be a really good book for me to be able to cope with there being no pictures in it because for me pictures tell so much um explain so much that otherwise you know save a lot of words so we have things like you know the rooting depths of plants um the relationships particularly what's going on above the soil in relation to what's below the soil we often see this but we don't know too much about what's going on below and later on robert actually wrote a book called roots demystified <laughs> to really get into the fine detail of what's going on below the soil. This is a thinner book. But this is the book that inspired me initially. And I think, still think it's a fantastic book. It came out um, in about 1988. Here we are, look, lots more pictures of roots. Uh, this was the work of an academic that Curry had come across. Um, this chap had basically spent pretty much his whole academic life um, excavating the root systems of plants like an archaeologist would very carefully and mapping them and uh, so we've got all of these different maps of different plants and where they root and where they how they sit in relation to each other within the soil and, um, and that's very useful when you're putting things together that you're trying to avoid competing with each other so lots of data on plant varieties and so on. This uh, of course is an American book, North American book, but a lot of this does uh, translate very well over to Northern Europe and Britain. Many of these things are familiar to us already. Uh, more roots. <laughs> and uh, that's yet more roots. Um, but what's particularly interesting for me is um, Couric provides what he calls the golden rules of edible landscaping. And for those of us who've learnt permaculture, many of these are actually rather familiar. And I feel that what happened was the permaculture came out about the same time as this book emerged. And people, particularly in the States, the United States, um, basically looked upon these principles and said, hang on a sec, <laughs> that's permaculture. So um, I particularly like, enjoy your landscape. If it's just drudgery, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> But there are some that are really clearly, obviously, uh, things that we might see in permaculture. Start ever so small, uh, which relates to start small and work out from well-managed areas. Uh, be lazy. Let nature work for you. That's uh, work with nature or everything gardens. Turn limitations into virtues. The problem is the solution and so on. So um, there's, essentially this is, whilst it's a book that's very much focused on food growing, and your local, you know, your garden or your local landscape. And the details of that is very much a permaculture book to relate to the garden. And for me, 
um, has yes, some excellent tables of indicator plants. Oh, let's skip past. Here we go. Soil indicators, plants that tell you what kind of soil conditions you have if you find quite a lot of these plants. It's very useful information to know. Um, yes, for me, a definite a book to definitely have in your library if you're any kind of a gardener or into permaculture. And so uh, this is now, whilst this is um, the old Metamorphic Press American version, this is now also available in Britain from permanent publications. So if you live in Britain, it's much easier to get hold of now than it used to be.